Hello everyone. Welcome to the Making of Tin Trio. My name is Scott Basil and I am the creator of this crazy video. And I guess you could say I'm also the full cast of this crazy video. Now, I am a big fan of these kinds of making of videos and especially when it applies to video editing. It's great to watch these and find new techniques to use or answers to just really annoying problems that come up in any kind of video work that you do. And so I hope after watching this you can add some extra ammo to your own video skills. Uh, now I just want to say in the case of Tin Trio there are multiple ways of creating the triplet effect. That's one thing I love about editing. There's always more than one way to accomplish a task. It's just a matter of finding the one that works best for you. So with that in mind, let's get started. Okay, here we go. Uh, this is Adobe After Effects. Um, great program. This is one of the main programs I use uh, for my video work. Um, I kind of think of it as Photoshop for video. Um, it's got a lot of the same effects that, that, that uh, Photoshop has and uh, does a great job, does a fantastic job. And so, um, as it pertains to Tin Trio, um, here's how I did it. Uh, starting off, what I did is went ahead and drug in each of the three videos that I shot. And uh, we'll go ahead and play these, just so you can take a look at them. These are the unedited videos for each, for each film. This would be the character of my of me, the middle guy, and uh, just scrubbing through here, you can see he's talking, interacting with nobody. Um, and that's this this was really the one of the one of the hardest parts of the whole thing because you know w when you do film each character, you kind of have to have a a mental note of where your other characters are sitting. And so, if I were to look left or right at each of these characters, I got to make sure that my eye line, you know, is is exactly in line with you know the character's eyes, or wherever they might be at that particular part. So, a lot of pre-planning went into this, um, knowing what each character was going to say, um, what they might be doing while they're saying it, um, and even before I rolled the camera, I went through a lot of a lot of trial runs um, just to give myself a mental note you know of how how the script would play out and uh, you know what the characters be gonna, are going to be doing and, and that helped a lot it helped uh, a heck of a lot so um, so yeah so this is the the first one just filming through scrubbing through it and then uh, the second one which is the character of myself a couple of screw ups, I just let the camera run and then for the third one character of I Okay, um, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to go into a huge amount of detail. I'm not going to go through every, you know, every bit of detail of the video. Um, the purpose of this is just to show you how I blended all three of those videos together to make it look like there were three people in the room interacting with each other and uh, playing right along with each other. Um, so the first step is to take those videos and drag them down into the timeline and uh, just like Photoshop for anybody who's used Photoshop um, they're in layers which means the file that's on top of these is going to be the file that shows up on top in the video itself and if I uh, if I let me scoot this down a little bit you can see that uh, the top layer is the character of me second layer 
is the character of myself, third layer, character of I. Um, so the, the trick for the blend is a little thing we call a ramp. And we're going to apply that effect to a black solid, which when I drag it in, you can see exactly what it is. All it is is just a black frame. Um, and that's it. And this is what we apply that effect called the ramp to. And you'll see exactly what a ramp is, for those of you who don't know. You'll see exactly what it is here in a second. It is basically a gradient. A blend between one color to the next. In this case, black and white. And that's the, those are the colors that we want to use when we do this. Um, the gradient is going to go from white to black. And for the effect to work, we're going to apply this to one of the videos. And so we're going to go ahead and apply that um, to. Uh, I went ahead and let's go ahead and move the top layer. Let's make that the guy on the on the right. Second layer should be in the middle. Third is on the bottom. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and apply this effect to this particular video here. And what's going to happen is when I apply that effect, it's going to make kind of a fade from opaque, which means you can't see through it, to transparent. And without doing any, any adjustments, this is what it looks like. I'll go ahead and shut those two off. You can kind of see it. What this is doing is going from opaque, any of the area that's white, you can see right here. If it's white, it becomes opaque. If it's black, it becomes transparent. So it's fading from opaque to invisible. And then, as I, when I turn those two bottom layers of the other two characters on, you can start to see the makings of two characters. And to adjust it so we can see, you know, we don't want to have a headless guy here and a legless guy here. Uh, we want to go and adjust how that gradient is, is, is laid out. So basically, we want a thin gradient, really defined, black and a white, and then a, a little fade between the two. And then, when we apply that, then you can really start to see a dividing line between those two. And so, what we want to do is, this dividing line between black and white, we want to put that between those two characters. And so, when we apply that effect, we can kind of move these around so you see that blend start to show up. And there you go. Now obviously, you can, there is a difference right now between these two video files. It looks like the lighting might have been a little dark on this one compared to this one. And that's easily fixed. That's, that's, a, that's a quick fix. Um, we'll do that here in a second. Let me go ahead and get the third character in here. And it's the same thing. We take that black solid and we're going to drag that between these two guys. So these two files, we're going to put that black solid in there and apply that ramp effect just like we did with the first one. And when we add that effect to that, we're going to start to see eventually we will see it here. There we go. You can see that effect take shape just like that. And now, the same thing with this file. It looked like the lighting when I filmed it might have been a little bit different. Um, and so, all we have to do is adjust the, like a little bit of brightness, a little bit of contrast between this one and this one. So we'll start with this particular video file. Just do a, we'll go ahead and do a levels adjustment. Find it here. And then you'll see the blend really, really come into play. You want to get it so there's nothing. 
that separates either one of those. And right about there. And the same thing. Another color adjustment with the character of myself. And you can just watch this kind of, you can see the, the, the lighting difference here. And if I tweak that, it'll blend itself in right about there. And so, fairly quick and fairly dirty it is, but there you have it. Three characters merged together in one seamless one seamless video. And then if we jump through the timeline, you can see that, that since, the, since the tripod was, was stationary, you can adjust There we go. And so there you have it. A quick and dirty view of how one guy becomes triplets. I hope you've enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.